Hello everyone. Hope you watched the first video and installed dot auto correctly. In this video, we'll be dealing with how to prepare your protein and ligand for docking. So in order to prepare your protein and ligand, you have to first obtain the structure from the internet or any database. The structure of protein and ligand which you want if to be readily available in the internet or in rare cases if the structure is not available then we may use any software like chemdraw or chemsketch or something and we may draw the structure and convert it into the desired format but in the case of protein that may be a bit difficult because a protein is a very large molecule so it may not be able we may not be able to construct that structure with uh, without considerable effort now in this video I'll be demonstrating how we uh, study the reaction between histamine H1 receptor and uh, citrosin. We know that citrosin is a tablet which is used against allergic reactions and its biological effect is to act as an antagonist to the histamine H1 receptor. Histamine H1 receptor is in fact uh, uh, one among the four G-coupled histamine receptors h1 h2 h3 and h4 so in this video we will be dealing with the interaction between histamine h1 receptor and our citrosine so for that first we need the structure for histamine h1 receptor and uh, citrosine so first let's see how we can get the structure of histamine h1 receptor see in order to get the structure of a protein the best data bank is the protein data bank pdb Go to the PDB database, just type PDB on Google and you'll get the first at RCFB PDB homepage. Select it. And this is the PDB homepage. We can uh, see many uh, protein structures here. That's the main molecule of the body, fetal hemoglobin. And now if you want to search the molecule, you can search it here. And now what we want is the histamine H1 receptor. So just type histamine H1, yeah, it's here, histamine H1 receptor. Okay, so here we get uh, uh, many structures. In this case, there are only two structures. One structure is named as 7DFL, another is 3RCT. You can download any of these structures. The first structure is actually the Cairo EM structure of histamine H1 receptor and GQ complex. And the second one is structure of the histamine H1 receptor with the complex with doxepin. So, uh, we can download whichever one you want. So I'm downloading the 7DFL. Just click on the 7DFL. And this is our molecule. And before this uh, downloading this molecule, we have to do some uh, study about this molecule. That This is actually the structure of histamine H1 receptor and the GQ complex. So this is not the simple pure receptor. It's actually a complex. If you want to know which are the uh, molecules present in this uh, receptor along with this protein, you can just see the list of macromolecules. You can see the list of macromolecules here. Or it will be much easier if you want to study the literature of the uh, of the study. If you are studying the literature, then it will be more, very useful for your future docking if you are considering this molecule. Okay, now if you want to download this molecule, just go to the download files click on download files and we have some formats here for autodoc we need this pdb format click pdb format it will be downloaded and uh, yeah it, it's downloaded now as i mentioned in the last video uh, whatever you are doing whatever molecule you are taking uh, to autodoc you have to keep it in your given folder that means in our case I have installed a folder, I created a folder called the workspace. Now this is actually downloaded to my downloads folder. So I have to copy this from downloads and this is the structure. I have to copy it from downloads and go and paste it in my workspace. This workspace is actually, uh, I have mentioned in the last video, it's directly uh, in drive F, computational software, Autodoc tools, workspace. And workspace is the folder which contains these four files. You have to place it here. 
and the structure is now here. So you can open the structure in PDB. But before that, let's get the ligand too. Currently, we only have the protein molecule. And now we have to uh, get the ligand. You can search for citrusin in PDB or uh, you can also search for this in uh, PubChem. You can search for the ligand in PubChem. Uh, go to PubChem. Just type P-U-B-C-H-E-M in Google and it will directly lead you to the site. Then search uh, citrusin. Just search citrusin. And here you can see one compound and substances. And in substances there are uh, many structures. You can see that almost all, the, all structures are the same. So if you want to go to the description, you can open the description. There may be some differences. Anyway, I'm going to select the first stru uh, second structure that is citrusin dihcl. I'm going to select the structure. Okay, and this is the structure of citrusin. And uh, the details are here. This is the 2D structure and you can get all other details from the site about the given molecule. And this is the ligand that we are selecting for docking. And this is the ligand we are going to use as the inhibitor for histamine H1 receptor. So in order to download the structure, click here download. And you have uh, many options here. We, you can download it as, uh, as an uh, FDF or uh, JSON, XML, NFT. So whatever you can i'll just download it as an fdf file i'm gonna save it as an fdf file and now it's downloaded the main thing you have to notice that fdf file cannot be open or, or uh, used in autodoc tools so we have to convert it into the pdb format and that's for our next software that is the open babel comes into play i have already mentioned you to install open babel which is a software used to convert uh, molecules from one format to other. So this is Open Babel. Now I have downloaded that uh, FDF format molecule. So the input should be FDF. So now in the left column, we are going to select that FDF format. Uh, just type, uh, just select here and just click on S, the first number. So you can see S here and FDF, MDL mole format. Click on it. So now you can only select FDF format files from your folder. And now I'm going to set the output format. It's PDB and the output file is set to my workspace. I'm going to name it as ct.pdb. ct.pdb. Save. And in this case, you don't want to copy the downloaded file from your downloads folder to the workspace because the downloaded file is in the FDF format, which cannot be used directly in Autodoc. You are now converting FDF into PDB and this new PDB file is stored in your workspace. It is directly stored in your directory. So you don't want to worry about anything. You can directly convert it. And to convert first, select the, uh, click this button. Uh, I'll show you once more. Click this button and in your downloads, you will get the downloaded file. Select it, it's the FDF format. And this is the file. And after selecting this output file, make sure you have selected this output file location and given a name. And don't check these two boxes. These two boxes will only uh, give you a written format like this here. You can select convert. And also, uh, if you are using this input below, this checker box, you have to check it if you are downloading this code from internet. Sometimes you may not get an FDA format file from internet. So FDA for any convertible format. So if you are just getting this code from the internet, select input below, click this checker box and copy the file from the copy that uh, code from the internet and paste it here and click convert. But uh, in this case, we have this FDF format file ready. So we just uh, set the output uh, name and location and click convert. And the molecule is now converted. It directly converted to PDB. And in my workspace, we can see that the ct.pdb is now installed. Okay. So we have already set our 
this is uh, 7dfl.pdb is my protein and ct.pdb is my ligand we have installed both uh, ligand and the we have uh, currently uh, got the structure of both ligand and the inhibitor now we are going to start our docking in order to start docking first we have to prepare uh, our molecule that is the protein and then we have to prepare our ligand so in order to import your protein molecule to autodock you can either select here this auto all molecules uh, get your cursor here and you can right click read molecule it will directly go to your workspace and if you want this to directly go to your workspace make sure that you have set the file preference set it and the startup directory is as given i have mentioned it in the previous video make sure the startup directory is set to the default directory then only autodoc will search the given format directly so all molecules read molecule 7dfl.pdb that's my protein i'm going to select it open okay so this is our protein molecule this is a protein molecule histamine h1 receptor and it's actually coupled with uh, some other molecules we'll come to that later but before that you can also uh, import the molecule by clicking file import or you can uh, select read molecule from here there are many options i usually go this way you can go any other way like for directly from file or something okay now your protein molecule is ready but the protein molecule is currently uh, not in the format that we need to use for that uh, just click the 7dfl that is the protein the plus icon here just click it and you can see many chains r b g a c etc now in order to understand which chain is required we have to go back to the uh, protein pdb site where you have downloaded the structure actually i am saying this because the larger the molecule it gets it will be difficult to uh, calculate the properties of the molecule because larger the molecule it requires more computational power and time so better select a molecule which is suitable for our system which is suitable for your uh, system specifications and also if you want to dock a given molecule so if you are go, if you are if your docking is going to take place in the r chain then this b g a and c chains won't do any help so we can delete it so it's important to identify which chain we have to dock in order to do that go back to the site in the pdb here either you can read it from literature also also i prefer it to read it from literature because in literature it, there will be many other information about the molecule and the structure and now i'm directly going to the structure see here the chain a the chain a is the histamine h1 receptor so here the chain a that's the histamine receptor so you, if you just uh, click here the select button the chain a is selected so this one is the histamine h1 receptor then going down you can see chain b is the gn binding protein also chain c that's also the guanine nucleotide binding protein chain d is the guanine nucleotide binding protein subunit alpha and chain e is a mutation scfv16 mutation and the chain f is the histamine ligand so this is the histamine structure which is going to bind with the uh, histamine h1 receptor so this is the ligand so as far as we are concerned we are only interested in this chain uh, the first chain that is chain a that is histamine h1 receptor so this is the only chain that we are concerned or we are uh, going to dock here so all other chains are not necessary so we can delete them in order to delete other chains you can um, either you can select these chains manually you can select all chains except chain a which is the histamine h1 receptor you can select all other chains edit delete delete selected items click on continue okay now you only have chain a okay this is the only chain left okay 
this is how you identify which protein that you have to or uh, which chain of a protein that you have to select from the uh, given set of proteins so i'm just going to leave a protein here because uh, i have to explain much more like uh, missing atoms adding polar hydrants etc and uh, that will be the topic for the next video thank you